Hello traders, welcome to freetradingvideo.com's weekend edition. And the Dow, down just a fraction. The NASDAQ, S&P, and Russell's up a fraction. The Russell's leading the group. What was interesting, and you heard me say it a few times now, that I am looking for a major trend reversal in the markets. I don't know when that's going to happen. I was thinking it was going to be next spring, but I'm starting to see things happening right now that's changing my mind slightly. This is what I'm seeing. For most of the day, the Dow and S&P have been down, but the NASDAQ and the Russells have been in the green. Remember, these smaller cap funds will be the first ones to run when the markets do decide to go bullish. Now, we are probably way early right now, but I'm just telling you, my ears to the ground, I'm, and I'm hearing the rumbling. And look at this, the VIX, the volatility index has dropped below 45. Wow, I mean, it just seems like yesterday we were up at 80. And look at this, we, we come down another 5% here in the markets, 5% in the VIX when everything else is just up a fraction. Um, this is telling me that the fear is starting to dissipate and the Russells, we're seeing strength in the Russells, we're seeing it in the NASDAQ. Um, they're very telling signs, so keep, uh, keep your eyes open to what's happening. Now, let's get on to technical analysis. Then let me be very clear here. You're going to want to get a pencil and paper. I'm going to go through a number of things here. It's going to be very educational and very valuable to you as a trader. This, this video needs to get spread to all your friends, and you're going to see why. Because I'm going to go through. There's no trend lines here. I'm going to walk through my thinking when drawing trend lines. Very important. Now, I'm going to start with the monthly, the S&P monthly chart. We have this big, what looks to be a double top. There's only a double top if we clear these lows. We didn't clear the lows. What we have now is this big down leg with a doji at the end. Anytime you get a doji at the end of a down leg, that usually signifies a reversal. Kind of like what we have here. You see this doji-like formation or spinning top formation right here. And then we get this big run. Um, very typical. And that's precisely what we have here. Now, December is not over um, with yet, but I don't see any decisive move to the upside or downside happening, um, you know, in any in large part. But so let's just make the assumption that December is going to end right here. There we are. What I'm looking for is a close above this doji. This doji is uh, the high is 918. 918. I'd want, and how do I know that? You can look right here, see H for high. Watch this when I hover over that. High is 918. I want to see a close in January above 920. That's my key. That's what I'm looking for, 920. And I want to clear over these highs. To clear over these highs, we need to get over. The high there is 954. I want to see us get a close over 955. 955. So again, I want to see us go over this high, 920, and then this swing high, I want to see us close over 955. Those are key areas. If we get this, we're bound to get a nice bounce here on the monthly chart. Now, I'm not going to draw any trend lines here because my trend lines would be going through those two tops here. It's just, this is just a big down leg. There's nothing to really draw to. Let's go to the weekly here. Here's the weekly S&P. Now, let's draw a couple lines on this. If I was drawing lines on the weekly S&P, see these two swings? My first line would be probably right there. And then I'm going to go to these two swing lows that we have. And then extend this one back to see if I can capture any other areas. And I can. You can see where I can capture a swing low here a swing low here and a swing low there. I'd have those two going. I'm also draw another one from this swing to this swing, bodies to bodies, just like this, where we had kind of a falling wedge. Boom, there's our pop. We popped over it and then we get this hammer, doji. This is a, this is, you could look at this almost like a high base. We ran up and then base, high base. Those are bullish. Um, so anyway, um, any way you look at this, we do have a sideways consolidation going here, 
And I would certainly like to see the weekly get over 930 over these highs, 930 on the weekly. That would be really nice to see. See, it's clear that. So that's how I would draw my lines on my weekly chart. So in short, what am I saying here? Can we retest 800? We certainly could. We could get a down leg right there, retest it, and then get our double bottom. Or if we continue sideways and pop from here, we could just start climbing ourselves right back up. A key area would be 1,000. I'd want to see us clear 1,000 um, on the weekly on the S&P. Now let's go to our daily. And these are all of our lines on our monthly and our weekly that are still here. Let's get rid of those lines. All right, now, how am I going to draw my lines? This is what I would do here. I'm going to first start with these guys and probably draw up a line, something like this, encompassing those swing lows. And let's do this one there. And we probably even do something like that. Now, I'm going very micro here. You can see those, those lines that I have drawn. Let me see. I'd probably take this one. Let's go to there. Perfect. I really feel good about this. Support, look at these, these lows. Let me get rid of my crosshairs. Support, support, we broke support, but we stayed above it. Look at this, support, 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 and right now, support. We have a gravestone doji on the daily. We are at major support here. It would not surprise me in the least for us to bounce, just like the bounce we got today. We closed here at support. We had this nice rally, big run this morning, running straight up, but we gave it all back by the end of the day. But we're still, again, at this support. If you look at this closely, we have a rising wedge a rising wedge, which is bearish. So this is telling me we should go down. So let's go here and draw this line. Resistance, 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 and resistance. We busted through that. That was very nice to see us bust through there. Let's draw this line. A downtrend, but actually it's a falling wedge. You can see this falling wedge type formation where we start pinching, pinching, pinching. And um, yeah, pinching, pinching. And then we come here, we challenge it, and we pop through. And then we start heading up. Now, we busted out of this. Could we come back down and test 800? We certainly could do this. And maybe go to the 750 area and test that. And maybe get a bounce where this line, what was acting resistance, actually starting to act as support right there. But I'll tell you, if we stay above the 20-day moving average, and that's that blue line right there. Let me blow this up so we can see it. If we stay above this 20-day moving average, that's going to be very bullish. If we do not make another down leg here, uh, that would be very bullish. Really, cut, it would make our um, inverted head and shoulder, shoulder, head and shoulder, uh, really play out in fruition and go bullish here. With the VIX as low as it's dropping, I mean, it's dropping in big, big chunks, and the Russell's picking up some speed, um, that's a telltale sign that that's bottoming um, signals that we're, we're seeing there. As a matter of fact, uh, while we're here, let's take a look at the Russell's. Here's the Russell's. Again, shoulder, head, and shoulder. It broke the neckline. Let me see here. I'm going to draw a line going down just like that. See this? Resistance. Resistance. We broke resistance. Resistance acts as support. Heads up. Let's draw another trend line. Nice, strong trend line heading up. And then, and then we have ourselves a rising wedge heading, um, yeah, rising wedge. This rising wedge could get very nasty and break down. For this rising wedge to heal itself, it needs to pop through. Now, let me show you something I'm seeing on the Russells. I want you to really see what I'm seeing here. We hit resistance, support, resistance, support, resistance, resistance, resistance. Do you see how we hit resistance three times? This is like it keeps hitting the ceiling three times, like it wants to pop through. So anyway, let's keep a close eye on the markets. Have a great time out there in the markets, and we'll catch you next time at freetradingvideos.com.